Hi everyone, I'm Kristen McGlory from Food52 and I am here to show you a recipe from our new cookbook called Genius Desserts. This one happens to be a chocolate mousse, but it's not like any chocolate mousse you've tasted or made before. It's much easier and for real diehard chocolate fans, it's gonna be even more chocolatey. What it has is Greek yogurt and that is gonna make it really light and also really easy to come together and the chocolate's really gonna shine through. The first step is just to get some milk just up to a boil and you dump this hot milk over chopped bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate. I'm gonna give this a little shake to make sure everything is submerged. So this just needs to sit and do its melting thing on its own undisturbed for two minutes. So we'll be right back and mix it all up. So it's been two minutes. I'm just gonna mix this melty chocolate with our hot milk into a smooth ganache. This is a pretty basic thing you do when you're making ganache. Any, any chocolate ganache is going to be chopped chocolate and cream or milk, and the proportion of it will determine how runny or how thick your ganache will be. You can have anything from like a chocolate truffle to a runny, drippy, delicious chocolate glaze. So this is all coming together nicely, nice and glossy. Your chocolate bits are all melted. And now we just get our Greek yogurt. This is just gonna be folded in to lighten your chocolate ganache. Stirring lightly, you're kind of gliding your spatula through the middle and down along the bottom and just kind of folding it back over itself. And you can see these streaks melting into each other. It's kind of pretty, you could just leave it streaky like this, but it'll look more like chocolate mousse if you just keep going until it's an even, creamy chocolate. You could make this basic chocolate mousse and leave it just as is, but Maria Speck's version has you add a little bit of Grand Marnier and she also tops it with orange marmalade, but you could do whatever you want. You could add a different liqueur. Um, I've seen people use framboise, which is a raspberry flavored liqueur, and then put a little dollop of raspberry jam. This is where you can just play and make it your own. And you can see it's cooled enough that it's already starting to hold kind of a fluffy shape, which is nice, and that'll just firm up even more in the fridge. We have this one that's been chilling in the fridge for an hour. It's gonna be nice and firm. And we don't have the orange marmalade that Maria serves it with, but as I was saying, you can riff and do whatever you want. So the, the chefs here at Cook's at Crocus Hill made this really fancy whipped cream for me that has a little bit more of the Grand Marnier that's in the chocolate mousse as well. It's got some vanilla bean paste, it's got some orange zest, it's got some sugar. It's really fancy and it's gonna be good on this. So that's how you make Greek yogurt chocolate mousse. It's a whole lot easier than making the traditional French version and it's much more chocolatey. So I hope you enjoy making it at home. Um, but the good thing to do here, sorry, I just need to pause really quick because I have like a blop of this on my finger. <laughs> I'm like trying to hide it, but I just gotta lick it off. <laughs> okay.